Today we're going to talk about how to dress your body type for a female inverted triangle. Hi, I'm Shelley and welcome to Fabulous 50s. An inverted triangle body shape is the name given to a body type that has a broad shoulder and comes in to a narrower waist and hip. And of course, there's many variations of every body type. But general rule of thumb is going to apply to the video today. And that is going to be a wider shoulder, a broad shoulder coming down into the triangle, which is a narrow waist and hips. So if that applies to you, this video is exactly for you. And also if you're a pear shape, you're going to find a lot of tips here too, because the inverted triangle is the opposite to a pear shape. And I'm going to show you lots of examples to demonstrate this. Oftentimes when we see something on somebody else, we can get it and we don't really understand how it applies to us. So this is going to make a lot of sense. I'm going to show you how to choose clothes when you're out shopping. And if you can understand the why behind why you're choosing different elements of your outfit, it makes so much sense and you're going to save money, I promise you. A couple of rules for the inverted triangle body type just to get started. We are broader up top and smaller on the bottom. So if you're using color theory, we're going to keep darker colors up top because dark colors minimize and make smaller and light colors make you look bigger. And I'll give you an example. If you're going to paint a small room white, the room's going to appear bigger and more spacious. And if you paint that exact same room black, or a very dark color, you're going to feel very, very small and it's going to disappear. So we use this principle when we're dressing. We're going to minimize our top area and maximize our bottom area. And then you'll be in beautiful proportion. And if you're a pear shape, the opposite rule applies to you. You want to maximize this area where you're smaller and you want to minimize the bottom area where you're bigger. And the second rule of thumb for the inverted triangle body type is to balance out the body as if you were going to mimic an hourglass. So that means you want to bring the width of your shoulders to the width of your hips with a curve in the middle. And we do this through illusion dressing. Personally though I love the inverted triangle body type because when I was a young girl the women who I admired the most had this body type and to me it was just a carefree athletic beautiful body because I had curves and hips and I was overweight so for me the image of beauty was just someone who could wear anything at all and look amazing and broad shoulders meant strong and athletic and no hips I just love that I grew up on the beach and to me that was so beautiful but now I'm older I realize there's beauty to every body type and I just like to help you find out how to make yours look the very best it can be not compared to somebody else and not wanting someone else's body type but just so you can feel good in your body Wearing the right top for your body type is really important because if you wear the wrong type like this one here shown where all the attention is up on the shoulder, it's going to make your shoulders look bigger and it's going to pull your body out of proportion. As opposed to this top where we minimize the shoulders and we maximize the area that narrows in. This is perfect for a pear shape and this is perfect for an inverted triangle because the pear shape needs to widen the shoulders and the inverted triangle needs to widen the lower part of their body. These are really great examples because the models have a pear body type and you can see what's happening here. So all of the attention for this jacket is down the bottom and same for this one. But you'll see these ladies have a smaller shoulder, so it looks out of proportion. But for you, the inverted triangle lady, this is so perfect because your shoulders are already broader. See how you bring the shoulders out and everything looks better because there's so much more proportion. And that's why I said to you to look at other body types for inspiration for your body type. Because although this looks beautiful on this woman, if she had your shoulders, it would be 
perfect. And this duster coat here which could also be a dress is the same. This deep V is giving you length so it's taking the emphasis off the broader shoulder and this is giving some bulk down on the hips and the thighs where quite often you feel like that's too narrow compared to the rest of your body. And an empire waist is beautiful on an inverted triangle lady because it gives some fullness and femininity to your body. As much as I love broad shoulders, there's ways that you can trick the eye into bringing your shoulders in and giving a more feminine look. And these are perfect examples. This image here is giving you an example of what an asymmetric line can do on a broader shoulder. It's making it look smaller by cutting it in half. And you can also wear a halter necks and crossbody tops. It just looks divine, makes your shoulders look very grand and regal and it's minimizing them for you. This is also a beautiful trick. You see, it's giving the eye something to focus on and it's just going to one area. That's where my eye is going. Here you can see a neckline that's opening up her body and coming in to a soft waist. See here, this is making your hips look bigger. It's such an easy trick for you to do. If you feel like you're all shoulders coming into nothing, use a peplum to bring in a fake waist and extended hips. And this top here is just something really great to wear to yoga or just to wear around the house because this is bringing the eye down and away from the shoulders. One thing to be careful of when you're out shopping is to not purchase tops or jackets that cut you off an inner square in the middle of your body like this example here so this is just making this lovely lady look way too square and this harsh straight line matched with the width of your shoulders is not going to be flattering on you at all jackets for you are much better worn down to the hip bone because it's going to give you more length and softness and it's going to take all the emphasis off the shoulders. This jacket here is so much nicer for you. So we're sitting on the hip bone. See this shape here? That is bringing the eye down. Another thing that works beautifully on your body is this layering effect. So we've got one color underneath and the jacket stopping here. And you'll see between the two photos that this is going to suit you so much more. And here's something to remember. For your body type, you can end your hems at the widest part of your leg because you're trying to widen that part of your leg to bring it up into proportion with your shoulders. Here's some visuals for you when you're choosing a jacket and I hope this helps. This example here is going to be very square on you and very masculine. And you've got the shoulders to come out here as well. So even again, it's more of a square. And that's what we're trying to avoid. We're trying to bring your shoulders in and your hips out. And something like this is going to sing on your body because here are the different elements. We've got a fake waist being created here. This angle is bringing attention to your thigh area. So it's making it wider. And the small lapels on this jacket are minimizing your shoulders and you'll notice the stripes on this pattern are going downwards which is lengthening your body and one more example for choosing a top this is going to make you look square and broader and it again it's a masculine look for you so if you wear light colors on top and dark color on the bottom you're going to be really emphasizing the part of your body that you're trying to minimize. Bottom line, if you're going shopping for something warm to wear, choose something like this and don't choose something like this. Sticking with the same rule of thumb for the inverted triangle body type, we're going to maximize our bottom half and we're going to minimize our top half. And these two dresses illustrate that beautifully. On this one, we're creating a line which is cutting the shoulders in half. And on this one, we've got a nice V coming in at the waist with a belt and it's just under the bust, which is really, really good for you. And then we've got lots of attention here and lots of attention here. So if you can imagine your shoulders are quite wide, it's going to match up with here. And you will have 
magically created the illusion that you have an hourglass body type. It's kind of magic. Skirts are going to be your best friend because they're going to widen at the hips. And these are examples of what you can wear and it's feminine and it's floaty. So when your shoulders are wide, you come in at the waist, narrow, and then you come out again and you've got that magic hourglass figure. And you can see this cut on a circle. So when it sits on your body, it gently cascades out into a flare. And this is a nice waistband that's going to create that middle section. One of your issues can be you feel like you don't have a butt and you don't have enough padding there and the hips are straight. So if you wear a skinny jean, a very, very tight jean, it just emphasizes that, particularly if they're dark or they're black and you feel like you're too big and then just drawing down into nothing at the bottom. The remedy for that is to wear some bulk and some flare down the bottom half of your body. And here's some examples of what you can do. These pants here are giving you a different shape altogether, in at the waist and a nice broad shoulder. So you've got that hourglass look, making this a much more feminine and in proportion choice for your body type. Sticking to the same principle, if you can buy pants with pockets on the side or side detail like these, these are boyfriend jeans so they're looser and they're beautiful on you. I always wished I could wear boyfriend jeans but I can't, they're made just for you. The more detail that you can have on a pair of pants at the front and towards your hips, the better. And on these ones here, you've got the side pockets and a wide leg. It is bringing you into proportion, the waistband's bringing you in at the waist, and then you've got your wide shoulders. Love the body type that you have. It's the one that you've got. So when you can learn how to dress it properly, just have fun experimenting with different outfits and different styles, and you'll work out a signature style for your body that you just love. All of the clothes that I'm showing you today will be in the description below this video, and I'm showing images of the average size of a woman over the age of 50, and that's size 16. Please give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day. If you'd like to watch a video on how to style tops that you've already got at home, they're going to minimize your broad shoulders. Check out this video. I think you're really going to enjoy it. And for my inverted triangle ladies, I think you'll find this video very interesting because I explain the elements of structure and flow in an outfit. And for your body type, it's really important not to be too structured. I can do